In this presentation, we will take a look at tracking tax deductible items related to child care within our QuickBooks account, within our business QuickBooks account, using what I'm calling an equity method within QuickBooks. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. Here we are on the home page. We currently have the open windows open. In order to open the open windows, you want to go to the view drop down and select the open windows list. We are now going to be opening the register and we're going to be entering data directly from the bank statement to the register, including data related to child care. Remember that this is our business account. So child care is not a business related expense, but something that we may need to track for personal taxes and therefore something that we are going to put into this account not as an expense but as an equity as a draws account so that we can track it prepare a report for it to give to our tax preparer at the end of the year to do that we're going to go to the banking drop down we're going to go to use register and the checking accounts the one we want now we've made these payments and we've consciously made any payment even though it's not business related that could be deductible possibly out of our checking account so that we can then set up these equity accounts track them not affecting net income but providing the reports necessary at year end in the same file to do that we're going to go to our bank statement and we're going to go through our bank statement here we've been entering the data related to this bank statement into our quickbooks file so this is the bank statement for march We've been entering this data into our QuickBooks file. We've been writing checks or assuming that these are checks, but note that they could be electronic transfers. However, we made the payment out of our bank account. Once we have the bank account, then the statement, we could take that data and put it into the check register in some way, into QuickBooks in some way. We're doing it with the check register and then just assign the appropriate account out. So we've consciously, in this case, paid ease we're going to say our child's uh child care this is the child care costs which are not something that's business related and therefore typically wouldn't be taken out of our business checking account which we have here so however like any expense that we might pay out of our business checking account if we were to pay something that was personal we can then apply it not to an expense but to something called draws and we're going to do that same method here but apply it to a draws account specific to tracking these items related to child care that's going to be our method here as we record this we're going to record first just kind of a normal business transaction for epiphone that's who we buy for our vendors uh, we buy and sell inventory we're going to say we sell guitars in our example here and so we're going to buy epiphone guitars and then we'll go into our new item here which is going to be the child care and then we'll record at least one or two more related to just normal transactions so we get the feel of both of these types of items as we go so first we're going to enter the epiphone that's going to be who we buy guitars from we buy and sell guitars and guitar equipment in our example so we're going to say that happened on 311 it's going to be check number 1028 we're going to put in the vendor epiphone which is one we already have so i'm typing it in and it's just going to populate for us we're going to make the amount for 5100 and it's going to go to uh, purchase items so it's going where we want it already i'm just going to keep the prior account that was selected you'll note that that's a cost of goods sold account so we're not going to get into the inventory tracking and how to track the inventory right now we're going to expense it directly cost of goods sold as we did in the past point is it's a normal vendor and we're choosing kind of an expense type of account in this case being cost of goods sold for the purchase of um, the inventory that we're going to sell and so here we have that we're going to say okay and i'm going to keep the check numbers the check numbers are they're duplicated check numbers so obviously in practice hopefully the checkbook would be going forward we wouldn't have duplicate check numbers that we had entered at some point in the past so again um, hope that doesn't bother anybody too much we're going to go back to here and we're going to go ahead and highlight this and right click and highlight now we're going to go to the new item which is ease child care so this is going to be something like daycare or something that we think might be deductible but not clearly not in the business expense this one's clearly nothing related to us generating revenue it's clearly personal 
however we're going to put it here because we want to track it because it might be deductible somewhere else as we put together our tax return information and this is where we do our best tracking is when we pay out of this company file so we're trying to uh, put it into the same information pay it out of this account so that we can do our job tracking it as best we can so then we're going to say this happens on 315 this is uh, 1029 we're going to make a new item new vendor ease child care so this is we could maybe preschool or maybe child care of some kind that we think might be something we want to track something that our tax person's been asking for at least every year so we're going to track it here within this account so we're going to say that uh, we want to have a quick ad it's going to be a vendor and we're going to say that this is going to be 125 and then again i'm not the point is we don't want to put it to an expense and we're going to treat it as if we pulled it out as cash and then paid it out of the personal account but just skip that middle step and put it into draws but a custom draws account and so we'll create an account that we want to track therefore we're going to create a new account i'm going to call it draws child care i'm just going to type it in there or i, I pasted it in there but you could type it in there and then we'll say tab and set up the new account point is it's not an expense account it's going to be a draws account so we want to select this item and say it's going to be equity type account that's the key and then we're going to say save and close and we could put a memo probably would be good we're not going to do it here though so i'm going to say enter and we'll keep the check number so there is that item and then i'm going to go back here so we're going to highlight this and we'll just do some normal type of transactions just to get a feel for it now these are these are business expenses what we would expect to see paid out of the business checking account so this is the rental where we do our business rental property so where we we rented wherever we're doing our guitar lessons and sales and whatnot so that's on 315 uh the check number is 1031 and we're just going to type in sun light rentals and that's going to be for 1500 tab and it's going to memorize it because we've seen this before this is of course a normal expense account that's what we would typically have when we make payments out of our business account so we're going to say okay there's that one done next one is to verizon and that's going to be a typical account that's a phone company so that's our phone bill so we're going to go okay there's a phone bill that's normal so that's 1032 and we had a check number that wasn't a duplicate that's nice and we're going to say this is verizon and it's already there it's going to go to phone expense 410 it's going to an expense account as we would expect that's going to be normal and we'll just say enter and there is that by the way as well once we set this account up it should be something that will be memorized next time in other words if i was to type in ease rental again don't do this this is an example it would then know the child care is there and i don't have to set up another draws account it's already done and so just be aware of that that's the that's nice that that is the case so don't record this i'm not recording this just to show you that once we enter this the first time then we'll go ahead and be able to it'll memorize the correct account the correct draws account as opposed to the account related to um, an expense type account so now let's see what happens in terms of our reports go into the reports drop down company and financial we're going to go to the balance sheet and we're going to change the dates up top customize dates from 010119 to 123119 i'm going to try to change the fonts here too i'm going to go to the fonts Let's make it a little bit larger change the size let's make it 11 okay yeah okay okay so then in the checking account so i'm going to double click on it it won't be large anymore but we'll we'll double click on it and if we scroll down we'll see here's what we paid out of course we paid it all out of the checking account but this child care was for personal so it went out of the checking account that's what we would expect but this is this didn't go for business it went to personal and that's fine so instead of us recording it as an expense we record it as draws i'm going to close it out of here and that means that we put it into the draws account we made a special one for uh, child care so you can see our equity account is getting a, a little long it can be a little cumbersome we don't want to do this with too many accounts because then we're going to have a lot of information within our equity section but if we pick out some special ones that we need to track that we would like to track within quickbooks and put them into the equity section here then 
we can track that information and of course have this ready for us at the end of the year. We can then provide it to our tax preparer, our tax professional, and we can see the detail if we want. We can double click on it and say, here's who we actually paid so that the tax preparer can say, okay, is this really deductible? We can give the detail. This is stuff we think is deductible. Here's the report <laughs> and we can give the, the detail on it and they can, and the tax preparer can uh, do what they think is appropriate with that information. Now we're going to go to the profit and loss by going to the reports drop down company and financial profit and loss standard. We've changed the date from 010119 to 123119. That's January through December 2019, the dates we are working on. And we can see that the purchase, the Epiphone went here. We purchased the Epiphone. I double clicked on that pretty quickly, but that one's included there. And we can see that we paid the Verizon bill. That's going to go into the telephone expense. And we paid for the rental company. And that's going to go in. Those are normal business expenses and the rental expense. But we didn't, we're not including in the calculation of net income what we paid for the child care. It's not, it's not included. And that's the point. It's a draw. We took it out for personal use. It's just like we took the money out from the business perspective. We, we, it's just like we took the money out for personal use. It's just like a draw for a sole proprietor. That's how we're tracking it and recording it. We're just specifically categorizing that draw and kind of skipping that middle step and making the payment directly out of the uh, of business checking account, but categorizing it as a draw. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info.